So you click this video because you're thinking about buying a brand new house. Well, stay tuned. I've got some tips that I wanna share with you to help you get that new home. Hey there, it's Christy DeMaracas with Keller Williams. I put new videos out each week to let you know what it's really like to live in the Tampa Bay area. Remember, I put new content out every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you do not miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions about moving to Tampa, or maybe you're already here and you want to know more about the builders, please let me know. I would love to help. Reach out to me at 813-523-3441 and let's get moving. I am coming in hot today and I love, 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 love talking about new construction and nothing I love more about real estate is being able to visit those model homes and in the new communities to get an idea of remodeling ideas, as well as helping my customers find a new home. Other than my videos on YouTube, you may be asking, where do I find all the new construction? as well as new communities here in Tampa. Well, there are several areas of Tampa that have new construction, like Wesley Chapel, Brandon, Lutz, Odessa, Lando Lakes, Valrico, Riverview. Check out some of my videos on my channel where I talk more in depth about some of these areas. Ask yourself some really tough questions before shopping for new construction to make sure you can find areas of Tampa that will best suit you and your family's need. Do you have a job that keeps you close to a certain area? Are your kids going to have to be at a certain school? Are there some areas of Tampa you like to spend time in on the weekends for maybe possibly date night? Maybe you like to go to the lightning game um, a couple of nights a week when they're home and playing then it might be better for you to live in maybe the South Tampa area or in Tampa. So think about what you love to do, how much time you're spending in a certain area of town, and maybe that might be a perfect spot to find that new construction. You might ask me, hey, Christy, what if I'm ready to buy a new home right now? What's the first thing I should do? Well, you need to reach out to an agent or me and not having a strategy in the right team and the right education could cost you tens of thousands of dollars in the home purchasing process. Myself or a properly trained agent can help you step by step through the process. Agents have the ability to help you save money and negotiate items that you might not think that you could save money on. Sometimes when buyers are so excited to move into their very brand new home, they miss things that they really should have seen but didn't because they were so excited. And not knowing the correct questions to ask. If I tried to do your job, do you think I'd be really good at it? No, because I don't have the expertise you do. You'll want to find a realtor that is familiar with the market, that has relationships with the builders, and knows new home construction and the process. Often the builder employs a new home salesperson or an on-site agent, but you'll want to be very weary of it as they have the seller or the builder or the corporation's best interest at the forefront. Hiring a realtor does not cost you anything as a buyer, and you can have the peace of mind that you have someone in your corner that will help you with negotiations and be sure you are getting as much possible for a good price. You want the best deal, right? The next step to do is work with a lender. I always recommend getting quotes from two different lenders when shopping for new construction. The first lender would be one of your choice and the second one I would recommend being the local builder's lender. The reason for that is, is because the builder's lender is not always the best choice. Even if the builder is willing to give you money for closing costs, looking at the lender fees and the interest rate of the builder's lender may not be a really good financial decision. Even if you plan on living in the home for many years, 
Secondly, getting a quote from a lender that you have chosen may be able to match and even beat the quote from the builder's lender. Just always make sure that you let your agent know you want to go with the builder's lender from the beginning. You can always move to your own lender, but you can never go backwards. The builder will not let you go from your own lender back to theirs. Remember, a fraction or two of the percentage point, you can save thousands of dollars per year. You'll want to start setting up your dream team, and this includes finding a lender who is going to get your best options. The smallest difference can add up to a lot over the span of 30 years. If you're six months or less from building a home, it's time to talk about a lender. Last thing you wanna have happen is that you fall in love with a home that is not in your budget or you have something to show up on your credit that you didn't know was even there and you don't have time to get it cleared up before you're ready to purchase that new home. It can be daunting and stressful sometimes if there's something holding your credit score down. The next step in the new construction process is choosing the builder. You'll want to do that, you're like due diligence on the builder and your short list. This includes asking them important questions and visiting um, the current or previous projects or seeing any past customer reviews. Talk with your agent about some of the successes and some of the pitfalls they have had when helping their customers purchase some of the local, with so, some of the local builders. This information can go a long way. A few questions that I suggest that you start talking about with your agent is, does the builder charge lot fees? That can add up. Are the, there are any current incentives? Some give closing costs or even throw in a golf cart when you're ready to purchase that new home. What comes with the home, like garage door openers, blinds, hardware for cabinets, ceiling fans, these items can really add up after closing, so it's a good idea to know what you're gonna get before you go under contract. New home communities list a base price for homes that they offer. However, this is rarely actually the final cost when building a new home. Be aware that you can add thousands of dollars to the base price of a home very quickly if you get carried away in the design center and upgrading the standard flooring cabinetry or the lighting. It's important to know exactly how much you can afford and the budget and budget really accordingly. Another question you want to talk to your realtor about is what is the amount of down payment do you have to give the builder when you write your contract? Another question is, is the builder currently having any supplies issues that could possibly hold up closing? When moving forward with your new home construction, you need to keep one thing at the top of your head. You are not buying the model home. You are purchasing something that has not been built yet. So don't automatically assume what you see is what you bought from the model home. You'll want to have a good understanding of all of the material options and what is considered in the upgrades. Try to get the bulk of this done at the beginning to prevent any delays with any changes down the road. Know that you have gotten some of your research done. Let's talk about the types of builders that we have. One is called a track builder, also known as a production builder. These are generally big established builders that are often statewide, if not national companies. They are generally just a few neighborhoods in the city and build dozens or hundreds of homes in each neighborhood. They generally have a set number of floor plans and features to choose from in their own design center without, you know, without too much flexibility. There's also generally build, they build homes whether they have buyers or not, meaning they may have some complete construction like vacant or for sale, like move-in ready homes. Often they'll have a fully staged model home in each of their neighborhoods, 
where their sales associate or on-site agent works full time. Some track builders also work with local agents to list their homes in the MLS, though it's hit or miss whether they do that and almost never does all of their inventory on the MLS. Track construction makes up a considerable amount of the majority of the sales. If you're buying a new home, you probably are buying a track home um, in the Tampa Bay area. Track home builders, they definitely have some of the most affordable options. They are not always cheap. For example, DR Horton, Lennar, Syntax have several different tiers of homes with different upgrade standards depending on the neighborhood. The next type of builder is called a spec builder, and they're similar to a track builder in that they start building a home even before they have a buyer. Unlike track builders, they do not own large tracts of land or lots in neighborhoods that they are committed to building on. Instead, they'll generally buy lots one at a time and begin building. The floor plans and the features may change even with every home. Even if they have already started a home, many items are likely going to be set in stone and cannot be changed, but they often build a home from the ground up with more flexibility. Sometimes spec builders will have a model home and sometimes they won't. However, unlike track builders, many employ local real estate agents to work their sales office and conduct their sales business, for which reasons you will more often find spec builder homes on local MLSs. Spec builders are more likely to be flexible on terms like the price if it's an inventory home than has been, and it's maybe been on the market a little while. Unlike custom home builders, spec builders often require terms more comparable to pre-owned or track homes regarding upfront costs like earnest money and deposits. The quality and upgrades for spec builders covered nearly the entire range from affordable starter homes to higher end new construction. The next type of builder is a custom builder. You can basically get anything you want. Custom builders can build you practically anything limited only by your budget imagination or local building and neighborhood regulations. Unlike the two other builder types, custom builders do not start building until they have a buyer. So they almost never have a vacant or completed home to view unless they had a buyer fall out of closing. Custom builders are not flexible on pricing and much more expensive to get started. They often require a larger deposit up front, plus other fees like lot fees and arch architectural fees if your floor plan is customized. Unlike spec and track builders, custom builders sometimes require you to buy your own lot first, especially if you are a very high price range or building on land throughout the country. Custom builders almost never have model homes or listing agents, but do often have offices where they meet customers. You will almost never find their homes on the local MLS. Building a new home or purchasing a new home should be fun and exciting. If you follow these steps, it should put you in the driver's seat for purchasing a new home. If you're looking to move to Tampa or you're already here in the Tampa area and need a little help finding homes, Give me a call at the number below and let's get moving.